Hi everybody, it's Mark from Blue Poodle Studio, and we're uh, coming to fall now. We're almost at October, so we're getting going to be running right into the Halloween season. So we're going to be spending some time the next couple of weeks uh, looking at monsters uh, in various shapes and forms of the toy collection. But of course, no Halloween discussion would be uh, apropos without talking about the director Tim Burton, and of course, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas hugely popular movie may be considered uh, tim burton's most popular film i don't know if it's his best but a very good film but we're not going to talk about that today instead we're going to talk a little bit about the 1988 film uh beetlejuice one of my personal favorites a fun mashup of kind of horror and comedy with some really uh kind of wacky design sensibility as you would come to expect from tim burton and uh i've got some toys to show you so let's take a look at these uh Beetlejuice toys today. Uh, first of all, and a little bit of a different twist, um, in my collection I have the um, 1991 uh, Kenner Toys catalog. Uh, this was something I got. I used to go to a toy fair, which is a annual trade show in New York where all the big toy companies would have uh, big rooms and displays. And so this particular catalog uh, showed their product lineup for that year and uh, Batman and lots of good uh, uh, Warner Brothers and fun stuff like, uh, but most importantly, what we're here to talk about today is the uh, Beetlejuice toys. And that was launched in that particular year, or at least that was part of their ongoing series. So I've got some other photos of this catalog. We'll take a little bit closer look at that, but let's uh, dig in and take a peek at the toys. So again, um, action figures, well, most, uh, Product lines with toys for got for boys in particular, as well as girls, uh, would feature action figures. So there's a whole series of action figures here. Um, I'm particularly fond of the packaging. I love the black and white stripe graphic, which of course ties into one of the costumes he wears in the movie. Uh, you know, it's got a good close-up illustration of um, the Michael Keaton character here with the Beetlejuice name right up front. And then, uh, you know, the back of the packaging typically uh, serves as another source of marketing materials to show you what else is in the product line. So you can get a kind of glimpse of what else is available. And uh, anyway, this is called the uh, Spinhead Beetlejuice. And uh, you may remember in the film, uh, you know, his head spins around crazy at one point, but then it pops off and you see the little shrunken head uh, that appears underneath uh, once this his main head comes off. And uh, there was the scene in the movie where he meets the voodoo witch doctor and he shrinks his head. Almost all action figures usually have a couple of accessories to add to what they mar what toy marketers call the play value. So uh, you can't quite see it for the price tag. Uh, but this uh, comes with the uh, creepy cockroach, as it's called. So we'll take a look at that. Another feature I did want to call out, and this is a little bit, I guess, kind of tactical, but uh, I, one of the things I admire about toy packaging, of course, they designed it for space efficiency. And so um, the toys, you typically have several in an assortment, and these two packages are designed to nest together and basically maximize the number of toys in the box. And then, of course, once it comes out, it goes up on the peg hook where you then the customer can shop and look through to see looking for your favorite character. All right. This is called Shipwreck Beetlejuice, and um, it includes the uh, what's called the Horrible Hydra, uh, which is a multi-headed monster. And it's got some fun uh, painted details. There's a little bit of a lobster clinging to the side of him of his leg. And then there's some seaweed and other stuff coming off his vest. So uh, that's kind of craziness there uh here is the shish kebab uh, uh beetlejuice with the scary skewers and again there was a scene in the first part of the movie where he has all these knives sticking out of him and these skewers can be inserted inside i do want to give you a sense also um i think this line was launched in 1989 and uh, it was purchased at kmart as you can see from the price tag which really dates the product because of course kmart is a uh, for those of you that are younger, may not know, it was a mass retail, uh, mass retailer uh, like a Walmart that has gone out of business and doesn't exist anymore. But uh, that those came from Tamar. And then finally, the, um, the the fourth action figure I have is called Showtime Beetlejuice, uh, with the, what's called the Rotten Rattler. And this was towards the end where uh, he he's in this giant costume which kind of blows up and inflates in the room. His head has this giant carousel with all these weird figures hanging off of it. And uh, he says, hey, it's showtime. 
and then his sleeves unroll and these big hammers come out and he mashes stuff down so all right that's a fun part of the movie i'm gonna pull up for a second let's uh, stop the slideshow here of the characters and let's go on to the catalog now i'm gonna take a look at that so here of course we just looked at the catalog a moment ago uh, again 1991 so it's this is uh 32 years ago and uh, here we see some close i'm gonna zoom in a little bit so here you can see uh <sighs> There were eight action figures all together uh, in the assortment, and it says, create your own practical joke fun with the Beetlejuice action figure assortment. And, uh, you know, this is, again, a, a commercial a catalog, so it shows there are 24 units in a case. It weighs about a little less than a pound, and it's uh, 1.7 cubic feet in size. And so there's what they call SKU numbers or product numbers, and you can see uh, the one, two... Uh, three and four characters. Like, oh, there you go. That's number four back there. I did not purchase the other ones. Some of these other characters uh, came from uh, the animated series that was also part of this. Um, so, all right, there's the lineup of the action figures. All uh, uh, eight of them there, uh, or actually ten looks like. And then we'll jump down here, and uh, this is one of the other items I bought. It's called the Vanishing Vault with Micro Beetlejuice. And uh, basically, it's a magic trick uh, where you pull open the vault, you put in your action figure, and then you close it, and then it magically transforms. And we can see here the little uh, miniature character that pops up at the end. Also, and I got the product itself right here, still in the box. Um, it shows he's laying in this kind of a, well, kind of looks like a bed, although it's his, it's his gravestone. Has this crazy gravestone with the characters and the skeletons on the back and then all these sort of weird bugs and stuff on the front. Uh, but again, this is, uh, and this is a little more pricier item. This was a $15 skew. And uh, the other action figures were in the $6, $7 range. So again, a, a normal toy product line has a variety of different price points from kind of a, mass market items down to some more specialized products so let's jump to the next page so in this slide of the catalog this is unfortunately i guess like any collector you might have things you wish you'd bought but this shows a couple of the vehicles that were part of the product line so first there was the phantom flyer vehicle which was kind of a tricycle motorcycle and uh that was some fun stuff there there's a car called the creepy cruiser we see auto the interior decorator who sort of injected from the back there was this crazy uh, snake mask you may remember in the film how he turns around all of a sudden this kind of medusa head and all the snakes pop out and then there's something called the gross out uh, meter which i'm not quite sure what it does but it's sort of random readers readings of vileness and such so at any rate fun stuff there it's a great and fun product line uh, i don't really think it's available anymore but if you're out looking for it it's there um it's uh it's one of again a great movie i enjoyed it the products are fun and uh more to come we got a whole bunch of other tim burton toys that we'll be looking at in the month ahead uh but thanks for joining us today don't forget to follow us on our youtube channel uh for blue poodle studio as well as then uh ongoing uh, photographs and stories about the toys and other products in the collection in our instagram and facebook account so Thanks for being with us today. Have a great rest of your day. We'll uh, see you again soon.